Oh, give it. Ow. Ow. Oh. Okay, he's out. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's going on, survivors? Welcome back to Subnautica Early Access. Developer Update 8 has been released. And there's all sorts of new toys to play around with. So we're going to go right in and get started without further ado. So I've done a bit of off-camera work already just to prepare for this episode so we don't have to spend a lot of time gathering resources that we've already gathered in order to make some of these new items. One of the new items is a pipe. And with this pipe, we can pump oxygen from the surface to the depths below. And I already have a pipe system all set up outside. We're going to go take a look at that. I don't have any more sand in order to make this, but uh, I think I have some extra in here. If I recall. I do. Yeah, there we go. Let's grab, uh, I'll just grab one of these pipes for now. I'm going to leave the other one for a future project. And by the way, you can see here now that we have these, we've got these new tabs. We've got modules and bases. Not yet implemented, but bases in particular there is extremely exciting. So my guess is we are going to be able to build bases underwater. Airtight bases. Down in the depths below, we'll have a space that we can get out and walk around in as airtight. That's my guess. It's only speculation, but uh, I really hope that happens. So here we have my pipe system. You can see the uh, the top of the pipe sticking out of the of the uh, the water here, and the oxygen is being pumped down through all of the pipes, and I've connected many of them together. So each one of these balls connects the the pipe, and then all the way down. Let's take the sea glide. And welcome to my humble abode. I found this awesome cave. Or I think it's a cave. It might be some sort of a hollow bone of some massive creature. A coral or something. I don't know, but it seems like a nice place to live. So now you can see my pipe ends here inside my cave. We're gonna, let's attach another piece here. Let's, uh, let's add that to the hot bar. I know. Hold on, lady, because watch this. Actually, I want to go up a little bit. I want to put this up top. Nah. Let's go back down. Put it right here. So we just attach that simply with a right click. And now you see all these little uh, yellow RNG bulbs? You just walk up to that. Take a breath. You just make contact. You don't have to click anything. If you click, you pick it back up again. Isn't that awesome? And you can get that oxygen from any one of these balls. That is so sweet. And now check this out. So this is going to be my house, eventually, if we ever get base building. Creeper, what are you doing here? Come on, get out of here. Creeper? Peeper. Gotcha. Now skedaddle, little fella. Go, go, go. Thank you. Let's grab some more air. Got it. And here's my closet, which has a sunroof, which is awesome. <laughs> we get lots of light in here, and I put some storage containers in here, which I think I showed you guys in the last episode, right? That we have new storage containers that you can build now and it give you a little extra storage so you don't have your uh, your your escape pod get all filled up all the time and there we go that one's empty for the time being so I'm just gonna put some stuff in there and this will be my house I love it let's grab a breath of fresh air and let's get out of here so that's one of the new things and we have some kind of a new plant. Some sort of plant life here. It's a purple fan, which I plucked, but I don't know what to do with it, so I let it go. And that's it right there. Now let's head back inside the pod. I'm in. Open up the fabricate tour, and I don't have enough of what I need to make. Oh, I have a grav sphere, which I'm not really sure how to use this thing, but if you, uh, if you, well, this is what says on the website anyway. If you make one of these graphs for you put it down and it attracts small objects, which it doesn't do for me. I tried it. Current generator. Generates a strong current. I suppose that could be some sort of a defensive measure. And let's see if we can do that. I have a battery and I don't have any metal here, do I? Oh, dang nabbit. I think I have metal outside in this other container. If not, we'll go out and look around for some. So there are some things we have to look for. Oh, here's the grav sphere, which I'll show you um, how this thing is supposed to work. Unfortunately, I have been unable to get it to work. I'm going to add it to my hotbar. So if I hold it in my hands, it doesn't seem to do anything. If I right-click, it just lets it go. 
Right click normally works for things in the world. Can't interact with it. And it doesn't seem to be sucking anything up. Maybe there's just nothing here to suck up. Oh, we got a guy! It caught a fish! <laughs> Sadly, I don't eat fish. No, I don't like seafood. I'm on the freedom mode of play, so I don't... I don't have to eat. It's not necessary for me to eat, but that is amazing! I'm sorry, little guys. Alright, get out of here. I don't need you. Go, you're free. Born free. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, well, guess what? I do know how to use a grab sphere. Grab sphere. So we, we need to go out and find some metal. Apparently, I do not have any more metal. I didn't have any down here, did I? Oh, did, I, did that peeper die after I caught him? Oh, I'm sorry, little fella. Oh, no, he's... Oh, he's fine. He's just playing... He's playing, um... What's that big bird? He's, he's playing ostrich on me. I was going to say playing possum, but that's a different animal. He's just shy. I'm going to stick his head in the sand. All right, let's, uh... Do I have metal here? I do not. I have a floater and some purple stuff. And this one was empty, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a bummer. Oh, yes, I forgot. Fragments. Stasis rifle. This is a new item, a stasis rifle. Oh, we can make a compass now, too, which is zinc and copper. Let's go find some copper and metal. This is pretty much all we need right now. Oh, an air bladder, which is a personal buoyancy device, which you can deploy, and then you'll have a, a, a nice, fast trip to the surface. So if you're way down deep and you want to get up quickly, there's a way to do that. Sadly, I don't have any of that stuff made up yet. Let's go explore, because that's fun. Let's go get some metal. We're going to take our sea moth. We need copper. And we need metal, and... Woo! Let's take up the whole screen. Yeah, I, I noticed that with this with this version, that Seamoth seems to take up more real estate on my screen than it did before. Maybe it's just the way I entered it. Seems better now. What was that? Now, typically these fragments can be found out here floating around. They look like little containers. And they're normally guarded by, oh, oh, by a big nasty fish. What was that? By that, uh, that gar looking fella with the teeth. You know the one I speak of. Let's, oh, I can hear him. I can hear him. I don't see him. Oh, that guy's going to explode. That's the explodey guy. All right, let's get back down. Grab that metal. That's two metal. Metal takes up a lot of space in the inventory, so it's something we got to keep an eye on. We'll have to head back up to the surface. So, copper would be in things like this. Oh, whoops. What is that? Oh, that's salt. My bad. Um, salt is really only ever used for Oxygen. eating. 50%. Oh, we can make a beacon. Oh, we can make the current generator. Ooh, want to try that? I really want to make the stasis rifle, though. That does not require metal. It just needs copper. So let's go ahead and make this current generator. This is going to be used probably to keep bad fish out of your house, is my guess. And I don't need any more metal at the moment. Seamoth fragment I do not need. Let us head back outside. And let's go down to my cave. Which is right down here. I'm hoping there's going to be... a lamps that we can make because that would be awesome. I'd love to have a lamp down here that you can see from above. It's easy to lose my cave, you see. Alright, let us put this current generator in the hot bar and we'll keep bad fish out this way. Hey little guy, come here. And I'm going to deploy it right here. And put the sea glide on. Turn on. Go. Press button. Oh, cool. Beat it! Get out of here! You dang peeper! Cool. Oh, I like it. <laughs> so that just runs on its own power, apparently. No problem. Grab a breath. Oh. Ah. Now I'm going to get in front of it and see. Oh! It's pretty good. Yep, pushing me right out of the way. I like it. 
So I'm swimming directly into it. Let's see if I can swim against the current, just with my own flippers. No. I'm trying. I'm trying like the Dickens, but I'm not moving. Sea Glide beats current generator. Or does it? Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> oh, that's wicked. So yeah, that apparently can be used to keep bad fish out of your base or something, or away from your current uh, exploration area or digging area, whatever. But since we're not going to be working down here, let's just shut it off. It seems like a waste of energy. All right. Let us go get some copper. And I think I'm going to take the sea moth for this. Put that away. In. All right, guys, I'm back. And I have one bit of copper that I found. But sadly, I have lost my, uh, I lost my sea moth. It just went poof. Actually, I had, I had to leave the game and come back. And when I reloaded, it was gone. So it looks like I'll have to make another sea moth. It is early access after all, so it's not a huge surprise. Now, what is this little guy? Oh! Oh, you're one of the new little buggers. This is a bleeder, I believe. Go on. Do what you do. Do what bleeders do. Somebody demonstrate to the good folks watching at home, safe and sound. Now, they're supposed to latch on to me and suck my blood. Maybe because I have that in my hands, they can't. All right, I'll be back. Think about it. Okay? That's what I'm paying you for. Dang fools. Let's get back up to the surface. This is why I wish I had my sea moth. Kind of a bummer that I lost a dang thing. It might show up again. Sometimes things disappear and come back. <laughs> so I have copper. Got one copper. I think that's all I needed, right? Here's something. Zinc. Get a lot of zinc out of those things, but not uh, not copper. Alright, let's go make the stasis rifle. We'll shoot something. There's a bone shark out there, too. I have not seen a bone shark yet. I have no idea where it lives or what it looks like or whether or not it's uh, a meat eater. But it's something that we shall hopefully discover together sooner or later. Fortunately, a lot of these things do respawn in the game. Those limestone deposits keep popping up all over the place, even in areas I've already explored, which is nice. Uh, up, and up, and up, and I think I can do it. Oh, I can make a compass, but I want the stasis rifle. Oh, battery. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 I didn't lose my battery, did I? Get back in there. I had an extra battery. There it is. Awesome. Okay. Let us make a stasis rifle and go shoot! What are those stinking gars? Oh, ba oh, it's a gun! <laughs> Armed and dangerous now. You dang stinking gar. Now, I don't want to shoot that thing accidentally. Let's just put it away. That's all I need is to blast a hole in my ship. Look at all the goodies. Um, I'm going to have to go put some metal somewhere else. Yeah, let's go do that, and then we'll shoot something. Let's put some metal over here. Glad I didn't lose... What are you? Oh, just a floaty mushroom. I didn't lose my inventory items. And my constructor is still out there, too. Oh, there's my, uh, my flashlight. So I wonder... Freezes physical objects. I think I'll hang on to the knife, too. Because it can't hurt having a knife as well as the gun. But let's go see what this thing can do. Let's get it out. Let's go shoot something. I want to find a gar. Something big and mean. Seems appropriate to use a gun on it. Instead of one of these little peepers. Alright, we have a big scary individual down here. Messing around with some metal that I want. So this is going to give us a reason to shoot him too. Not just for science purposes. But for practical purposes. Now how do I shoot you, you little fella? Turn around. Try to bite me. Let's turn it in. Whoa! Oh, here it goes. It's it's arming and fire. Oh! Oh! Wait a minute. Wait, come back. Let's try that again. Look at the big bubble I made. I gotta hold it. I'm holding it down and then release. Oh! I got him! <laughs> what you think about that, Gar? Look at the other one's like, hey, how do you do it in there, man? Oh, yeah. Now how long is that gonna hold you? Can I have that metal now? 
Give me that. Serves you right. You better think about what you're doing down here. Hmm? Big bullies. Wait, pick up Stalker Tooth. <gasps> oh, give it. Ow! Ow! Oh, okay, he's out. Let's get out of here. Uh oh, my oxygen. <sighs> okay. Oh no, is he chasing me? Okay, he took it kind of personally, didn't he? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Sometimes it doesn't seem like this thing actually works. Oh no, yeah! He's mad! This sea glide. He wants his tooth back, but you're not gonna get it. You're not gonna have it. I swear this this thing doesn't work any faster. Look, I'm swimming just as fast. <laughs> Stupid sea glide. <laughs> you better go the other way. Now I like that gun. It's unfortunately that that bubble doesn't last forever, but uh, I I wouldn't expect it to anyway. Let's shoot the little guy here. But boy, it's a slow shooter, isn't it? Let me see if I shoot a bubble. Does it shoot automatically? No, I've got to hold it down and then release. Watch. Boop. Oh. You got him. No, you're not in there. Now, what happens if I go in there? Oh, I can just go in and out anytime I want. Anytime I please. That's nice. I'm not frozen. It's not doing me any harm. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now what about oxygen? Am I losing? Yeah, I'm losing oxygen in there. Okay, so there's still there's still liquids inside there. And I don't know if there's any way to heal. Because that would be nice. Probably is, but I don't know what it is. Alright, what did we get out of that? We got a tooth. Oh no, he did, 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 did... What? He got his tooth back? No, he didn't. I took it right out. Aww. I could have sworn I got his tooth. It's a little bleeder guy. Show me what you can do, fella. Come on, latch on to me. Maybe if I annoy him enough, he'll he'll latch on. I think that's a bleeder anyway. How about if I poke you? Now latch on. No? Okay, in the picture I saw, they had uh, attached to the arm of the player. And suck out the blood. Whoa. Oxygen. Oh, hi! Okay, I'm out of here. Sea Glide seems to be working. He's not giving chase. He's not giving chase. Alright, we'll have to figure out what's up with those uh, little bleeders in the next episode. Maybe we can find that bone shark, too. And in the meantime, I'll try to get another sea moth built up. So we can travel a little more efficiently and look for these things. Because I have a feeling the bone shark is probably deeper than, uh, than we can go with just this sea glide. Don't need no stinking zinc. Alright guys, with that we're going to call it quits. I hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode. And we will attempt to make the last few items that we haven't seen yet. I will gather the resources off camera so we don't have to waste any time doing that and now it is time for me to go and i just want to show you my bubble on the surface here isn't that awesome so my guess is you can actually use these as a protective barrier between you and the hostile fish when you're underwater maybe you just want to catch a quick breather or you're gathering resources and there's some nasties around and this might keep them out for a few seconds I think it does anyway. I mean, the only the only thing here in the description says freezes physical objects. It obviously doesn't freeze me. Nope, there it goes. It doesn't last very long either. So I suppose you can either catch fish in it, like we had done earlier, or you can keep things out. Keep out the nasties. And yeah, I'll, I'll test I'll test that out on my own. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> all right, I'll see y'all later. Hope you enjoyed. Ooh, the sound is still there though, isn't it? All right, take care, guys. Bye bye.